Hello friends, welcome to Full House Kitchen. Today we bring you these two very simple and easy recipe of frozen okra. Often in the supermarket you will find in the freezer section this frozen okra packet which is already washed and cut for you. So it's very convenient to have it at home whenever you are in rush or you just don't feel like cooking. You can simply open the packet and make uh, the side dish or sabji and it turns out really really good. So let's see and uh, look at these two very simple and easy quick recipe of frozen okra. So here I'm adding 2 tablespoons of oil and into goes our seasoning which is 1 teaspoon of panch foran, 1 red chilli and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. If you don't have panch foran, you can simply add cumin seed or uh, mustard seed or combination of both. And we'll just uh, let our seasoning cook nicely, let uh, the seeds uh, splutter well and then add one uh, big size onion finely chopped. It doesn't have to be very finely chopped, just uh, nicely chopped and uh, we'll cook the onion for around 30 seconds to 1 minute, not more than that and uh, we'll add our okra into it. So I'm adding one packet of okra which is around 300 gram and we are not going to defrost uh, the okra, we'll just uh, straight away we'll take it out from the freezer and we'll add the okra into it and we'll give it a nice mix give one to two minute for the okra to nicely uh, get normal with the onion and oil and then we'll add our uh, other uh, dry spices so our okra is nicely mixed with onion now it's been around two minutes and i stir in between so here i'm adding one teaspoon of amchur powder which is dry mango powder if you don't have dry mango powder then I'll uh, let you know what's the substitute for this but at this point if you don't have dry mango powder then you do add uh, either uh, uh, cumin powder or coriander powder and I'm added salt according to taste and around half teaspoon of red chilli powder and I also added half an onion uh, roughly chopped because what it does that some onions are nicely caramelized and these uh, freshly added onion will give the texture uh, in a different way. So the sweetness comes from the onion which really combines well with the amchur powder which is sour in taste. So it really gives a nice uh, balance of the flavor. And now we are going to cover and cook until our okra is nicely cooked and just keep on stirring in between and cook on medium heat and uh, our dry mango powder it really helps all the slimes to get absorbed and if you don't have dry mango powder in, you can use uh, a teaspoon of uh, lemon juice or lime juice towards the end which will also help to get uh, all the slimes absorbed and uh, the okra turns out really well and it roughly takes around 10 to 12 minutes to cook so it's a, such a nice easy way to add an extra dish or uh, just uh, use the okra which is frozen and easily available and next I am sharing another uh, very similar but simple recipe with more fa added flavor so just uh, stay tuned for the next recipe for this recipe we are going to use roasted peanut powder and to make roasted peanut powder we will simply dry roast uh, around quarter cup of uh, peanut uh, for three to four minutes until it changes its color and let it cool. Once it's cold, just simply rub it with your hand and the skin comes out really easily and grind it well and make it in a powder form. And we are going to use that roasted uh, peanut powder for our recipe. So let's start the recipe now. And for this, I got two tablespoons of oil. Into goes our seasoning, which is one teaspoon of mustard seed, one red chili and a little bit of hing, which is a sotopeda and around half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder and we'll add here some fresh curry leaves which is uh, if you have it available please use it it really adds a lot of flavor into it and once our seasoning is nicely cooked uh, we are going to add here one big size onion roughly chopped and we're just going to give it a mix and cook for around 30 seconds or so and then we are going to add our frozen okra which is again straight away from the freezer and you don't have to defrost it and it's a one packet of uh, okra which is around 300 gram uh, in weight and we'll just uh, let the okra mix nicely with the 
onion and oil and everything and become normal for around a minute or two and then we are going to add some dry spices here i'm adding one teaspoon of coriander powder which is coriander cumin and black pepper mix you can only add uh, coriander powder or cumin powder as well and i'm adding one teaspoon of amchur powder which is uh, dry mango powder one teaspoon of red chili powder and salt according to taste red chili powder you uh, quantity you can reduce uh, according to your taste buds and we'll just give it a nice mix and cover and cook uh, until our cook okra is cooked nicely and roughly takes around 10 to 12 minutes so cook on medium heat keep on stirring in between until our okra is nicely cooked if you love okra then this recipe is a must to try and you can try the same recipe for fresh okra as well and we have many more uh, very simple and easy recipes on our channel so please take a look and subscribe to our channel and do give it a like to this recipe and now our okra is nicely cooked so once your okra is cooked then we are going to add our dry roasted peanut powder which is around 2 tablespoon of peanut powder but you can add more or less and now just give it a good mix taste your okra at this point add salt chili uh, amchur powder or lemon juice here i'm adding some lemon juice around one teaspoon of lemon juice and i also needed to add some salt so it's uh, at this point just give it a good mix and your okra is nicely ready i hope you like this recipe and please do give it a like to this recipe if you like this recipe and thank you for watching